yo what up everyone this is Tiro back with another video and today in this video i'm gonna show you apps that i use on a daily basis so this video actually came out to be a little bit longer but i really tried to make it as quick as possible so without further delay let's start and all the important links for the apps i will show you in this video will be listed in the description box below so do check it out so as far as the ui is concerned i am using official lineage os 14.1 rom and pixel launcher on top and this is how my home screen looks like on to the first row i have the google camera pulsar music player facebook file manager by asus and clash of clans on the next row i have google chrome browser spotify audio recording app by sony twitter play store and on the dock i have the dialer contacts youtube and created studio for YouTube and lastly WhatsApp. On to the next home screen, I have Messenger for Facebook, MX Player, Instagram and I don't know for what reason but I like to put the audio recorder on both of my home screens because whenever I edit a video, it makes it quick to record voiceovers right away like this. And this is the real time subscriber count widget which counts your YouTube channel subscribers so that you feel motivated always. And beside that I have Google Keep which is an awesome notes app if you are into that. You can write or draw pretty much anything quickly and it will stay there always unless you delete it and the sync is mind blowing. A must notes app for everyone that's all for the home screen on the left of the home screen i have google now cards now let's jump on to the app drawer so first on the list is air droid what it does it basically helps to connect the phone and manage files with my pc wirelessly next up is aliexpress and this is so far the best shopping app if you consider buying things from china Next is APK Extractor, which does what it says and it extracts APKs from your installed apps. On to the next one is Audio Recorder by Sony. Well, it really improves the quality of voiceovers, and this is the app I use daily to record my voiceovers like this. So it's pretty great at what it does. And this is the stock calculator app which you can find on any android phone, nothing special any. Up next is google calendar, google camera and chrome. You guys already know what these apps do. So moving on to clash of clans. This is a very popular strategy game and if you want to see my base here you go. It's almost maxed out town hall 10 and only some walls and barbarian king needs to be updated and some dark spells needs to be upgraded here are my troop levels i have been playing this game since quite a long time definitely more than two years and this is the only game i play on my phone moving on this is clip stack it's basically a clipboard history app whatever text you copy it keeps it stored in here so that you can use that again so it's pretty helpful for me at least. Then I have normal apps like Clock, Contact, Docs, Drive, Duo, Facebook. You already know about these. So next is the file manager by Asus, which is a great file manager in my opinion and it can even hide and lock some files which you can unlock with your fingerprint. So that's that. And they won't show up in gallery or somewhere else. So it's pretty good. Next is Files Go. I did an entire video on that. Here is a card. Next is Find My Device by Google, which can track, locate, and lock down your phone from anywhere if your phone gets stolen or something. So that's that. Up next is Google Fit, Flipkart, Flipkart Affiliate, FM Radio, Gmail, and other Google stuff. Moving on, I have Instagram and then Internet Speed Meter which is a paid app i really bought it with 75 rupees i guess and there is a free version of this app too which is internet speed monitor lite 
or internet speed meter light. This helps you to show the real time internet speed on the status bar. From here you can see separate mobile data and Wi-Fi usage and it even shows upload and download speeds separately. And here we have Google Keep which is an awesome notes app if you are into that. You can write or draw pretty much anything quickly and it will stay there always unless you delete it and the sync is mind blowing. A must notes app for everyone. Next is MI calculator. With this you can calculate currency, mortgage, length, area, volume, mass, speed etc. Next I have MI fit which basically helps me to connect to my Mi Band. Next is MX Player which helps to play offline video files which you have in your internal storage. Up next we have some apps which we do not really need at all so I am gonna disable them. Next I got Opera VPN which is a pretty good VPN app in my opinion. If you still don't know what VPN does, well google it. Now I have Facebook Pages Manager, PDM, Dialer, Google Photos. Next I have a ping app which helps to check my internet ping without turning on my PC. Up next I have Pixie Wall which has been my favorite wallpaper app for at least last couple of months. And this one gives quotes in OnePlus style and you can set the wallpapers as home screen or lock screen or both as you wish to. Next is Pulsar Music Player and this is my favorite one to play songs which are in my internal storage and it even has themes. The only reason I like it so much because of the convenience of views and the folder option. Next is Quick Pick, a simple gallery app. Now I have Chrome Remote Desktop with which I can control my PC with my phone. So it's helpful for me at times. Now we have Google Opinion Rewards. What it does is it asks questions and do surveys at times. So you just have to answer them and you will get rewarded with some money. And you can use that money to buy apps or games from Play Store. Next I have SMS Backup and Restore which helps to backup SMS and call logs into your internal storage or Google Drive or Dropbox. So it's great for me because I always flash different custom ROMs and everything get wiped every time. With this I can have a backup of my SMS and stuff. Next we have Snapchat, SnapD, you know them so skipping and moving on. Here we have Snapseed which is a great photo editing app by Google and it makes it pretty simple to edit a photo. Moving on, Spotify, I did a separate video on that too, here is a card. Next we have real time subscriber counter and this counts your subscribers of your YouTube channel and keeps you motivated, that's it. And it has a widget which is the best reason to use it. Next we have Vidmate which helps you to download videos from Facebook, YouTube or anywhere else by just click. Here I will show you an example. You just have to copy the video link or search the video in here. So that's that. And you can disable this push notification option from the settings because it gives ugly ads. Next I have VLC player, I use this video player when MX player fails to play some videos. Next I have Wi-Fi browser which is an app I use for downloading movies. Other stuff here you can perfect which is a selfie app, pretty much everybody in India has that. So next is YouTube and create a studio. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you like my work. This is Tito signing off and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.